Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa. I read and welcome to my channel and today we're talking about the books I plan to read in the month of August. These videos are more like suggestions for me. I kind of have ideas of what kind of videos I'm going to be making um, but depending on my mood I may get to these books or I may not. But let's go through the books that I'm thinking about reading. So the first three books I'm for sure as of right now <laughs> going to get to and I've decided to read The Infernal Devices. Um, I have read book one and two in this series. It's written by Cassandra Clare. Um, so book one, as you can see, I've actually started it, is Clockwork Angel. The second one is Clockwork Prince. And then finally I have Clockwork Princess. I'm just borrowing these from the library. I don't think I used to own these, but I stopped the series a long time ago and um, I've been like debating whether or not to get back into this world so I started the first one and I'm really liking it. Um, I'm remembering a lot of things and I'm going into this a little bit more prepared, a little bit more eyes wide open if that makes any sense. I've had some issues with Cassandra Clare in the past but now I think I can forgive her for a lot of her <laughs> faults sometimes. So I'm excited to get back into this world. And as of right now, I kind of plan to continue on with the series. So um, I'll be reading this trilogy specifically. If you don't know what the Inferno Devices are, it's kind of like a fantasy, urban fantasy, demon hunters kind of world. And this is set specifically in the Victorian era. So that's one of my favorite things is historical fantasy. So I'm excited for that. I also plan to start the In Death series. I really need to start the series really really soon so I do plan to definitely get you this hopefully <laughs> so the first one is Naked in Death the second one is Glory in Death and the third one is Immortal in Death so these are all written by JD Robb aka Nora Roberts so this is kind of like her detective romance series at least that's what I think so I plan to start that. I'm also hoping to do some 24-hour readathons. Depending on how I feel after reading a lot of fantasy, um, specifically YA fantasy, I may do like a YA fantasy short story. So one of those collections would be The Lives of Saints by Leigh Bardugo. This is a short story collection. They're kind of like stories about saints in the Grisha universe. So this is part of like it's like a companion short story collection in this world, so I hopefully can get to this. And then the other short story collection I need to get to you is Dark Powers Tales. This part of the Dark Powers trilogy by Kelly Armstrong. I already read that trilogy and loved it, so I would like to read the short stories. I may and I may not, depending how I feel again, do like a memoir 24 hour readathon where I read a couple memoirs that I have. So I have The Princess Diaries by Carrie Fisher. I love Star Wars and I think I would find her memoir really interesting. And if I like this, I know she has other memoirs. And then I have this My, my Part-Time Paris Life about this woman who moves to Paris and her experience living there clearly part-time. So um, I've had this on my bookshelves. I kind of like reading about different lifestyles, specifically when people travel or just live really unconventionally. And so the fact that someone lives in like a foreign country part of the time I find really interesting. So I'd be reading that if I decide to do that video. I've already, I don't think I've posted it yet. I have a video coming out soon where I read summer books and I thought about doing it again because I was like really into it. Right now I'm kind of burnt out on summer books but if I do plan to make that video I have so many summer books here specifically YA. As of right now I'm not really in the mood but who knows maybe I'll change my, change my mind later. I would only be picking two but some books that are summery that are YA um, Second Chance Summer. I think I would for sure want to do this one because it has the word summer in it um, by Morgan Matson. I have Stay Sweet which is all set in an uh, ice cream shop. 26 Kisses. These are all set during the summer. Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. The Names They Gave Us by Emily Lord. I read one of her books just this past month and loved it so I wouldn't mind uh, maybe reading another one of hers. I set at a camp. And then The Unexpected Everything, again by Morgan Matson. I've just had some of these YA books on my bookshelves forever. 
and like I don't gravitate to them during the off season like during fall winter or spring um and so this is like the perfect time to read it but I don't know I don't always gravitate towards why romance or why summer books so we'll see if I get to them <laughs> and then I would also need to do a TBR jar video hopefully to get through my sequels I already made a video that you can check out where I create a TBR jar and I'm using it to pick out random sequels that I'm in the middle of and uh, obviously I'm not gonna get to all these books but I thought I would just run through all the sequels that I have on my TBR physically I think there's more but I'll just run through the sequels that I need to get to and so let's do that. I have No Duke Goes Unpunished by Sarah McLean. Devil in Winter by Lisa Claypass. Define at the Heart by Joanna Lindsay. Dare to Love a Duke by Eva Lee. And Moonlight Seductions by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I also have Well Played by Jen DeLuca. The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. The Smoke in the Sun by Renee Adier. The Eternity Cure by Julie Kugagwa. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Get a Clue by Tiffany Schmidt. Um, sea of Monsters by Rick Rorden. From Twinkle with Love by Senda Manon. And finally, Vow of These by Mary, Mary E. Pearson. So what I do in those videos is just like pick out a random book and it could be one of those titles. So yes, that is my TBR. Quick and sweet. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> but these are some titles that I may or may not get to. Um, let me know if there's any books that you specifically want me to read. I could probably bump them to the top of my TBR list. I would love to know what you plan to read in the month of August. Have you read any of these titles before? I'd love to have a conversation with you in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done so. You can follow me on Goodreads and Instagram. And you know what? I want you to keep reading. Bye.